Hello Explorers, this is the first in a series of videos where we're going to be exploring Japanese food. Now, I've eaten very little Japanese food prior to coming to Tokyo. I've had the occasional piece of sushi, maybe the occasional bowl of ramen, but not a huge Japanese food eater. But today, I've been to the supermarket, it's lunchtime, it's my rest day, this morning I went to the gym, so I thought, why not pick up some items of food from the supermarket and share it all with you? Obviously, none of the labels in the supermarket on the food are labelled in English, it's all in Japanese, so when you buy something, it's really just a guess of what is actually in the package, and I actually find that quite exciting, like today... I have purchased this and you might be wondering what the hell is in here well I'm wondering that myself before we dive into the food though let's just go through the prices like this is quite a big package of food quite a few items in here and this costs 298 yen which I would say is about two pounds about two dollars fifty Roughly, these are not exact prices. Obviously, prices fluctuate, currency goes up and down, but it just gives you a rough idea of how much this little package of food costs. In here, we've got four large pieces of sushi, and this costs 229 yen, which is about £1.70, about two US dollars. The potato and egg salad cost 298 yen, which is about probably about the same price as the package here, which is about two pound, about two dollars fifty cents, roughly. So, let's get these chopsticks out. Here we go. Just so you know, I would say that this food that I've purchased will do me for two lunches. So in total, including the water, it cost me six pound, about eight US dollars. Other than the carrots and the peas, I've no idea what is in this package. As I said, all of the labels are in Japanese, but we're gonna put one of each item onto the plate and give it a try. So, let's see what is in this package of delights. We've got one of these, not too sure what that is. Um, oh, <laughs> oh dear, chopsticks, chopstick L. Oh dear. <laughs> this should be the easiest thing to pick up with holes in. And then we've got one of these, whatever this is. Oh, it's a mushroom. Looks disgusting when you first look at it. Not too sure what that is. We'll pick up one of these. If I can pick it up. Um, see what else we've got in here. Pick some of this up. Oh, we've already done that. We've got this. I'm assuming this is carrot. It's quite soft. Um, and we'll get one of these. Have we got everything there? I think we have. We've got a bit of everything. I'm also adding some sushi to the plate. Well, our two pieces. Pick this one up. There we go. And the final bit of my lunch is this potato salad. So we'll add some egg on. Some of this lettuce and potatoes and onions and cabbage. Add that on there as well. And there you go. I'm going to tuck into my lunch and I'm going to start off with the items that I'm not too sure what I'm eating. And this doesn't really have much of a smell to it, but we're just going to put it in my mouth. Not taste of anything really. I have no idea what it is that I've just eaten. There's no specific taste to it. A little bit bland. Next is this, and I think it's tofu, but I'm not too sure. Yes, it's definitely tofu. Again, a little bit bland. Not much flavour to it. It's okay, I, I, you know, it's tofu. 
Let's try that again. Again, not a huge smell to it. It smells, I don't know, it smells a bit seafoody. I've no idea. I really do not have any idea what this is. If you know what I'm eating, please do let me know down in the comments. I maybe should have found out what I'm eating before I did this video. But, you know, I'm exploring Japanese food for the first time. And most people who buy this food at the supermarket, who are a tourist and not Japanese, wouldn't have a clue what they're eating. Like, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be eating now. Again, not much smell to it. It's definitely got a seafoody kind of smell. Ugh. Some kind of vegetable, I guess. This is a mushroom. Mm. Good. It's weird how things that you know what they are, they taste nicer than the things that you're not too sure what they are. So yeah, we've got, I'm assuming this is carrot. It is, very soft, very soft carrot. So, down to the sushi now. And this is where it gets tricky with the chopsticks. Whoa, we're having a right old attempt here though. And the thing that I've discovered about food in Korea and Japan to get the proper flavors you can't do what we do in the UK and cut it up and nibble it what you've got to do is you stuff it in your gob and you get like this firework display of flavors in your mouth so that's what we're gonna do bear with me mm. rice seaweed tomato the cucumber really gives it that kick that really refreshing kick and I think it's mushroom possibly I'm not too sure this is what it looks like um, I don't know what that is there um, but such nice sushi now what I try and do because obviously I'm trying to healthy eat and live a healthier lifestyle this morning I went to the gym um, if you see my gym video that I uploaded yesterday um, basically you know I'm trying to eat um, all my carbs at lunchtime so I will have rice I will have noodles because you do need some carbs in your diet I don't have carbs for my breakfast and I don't have carbs for me small evening meal so I have my main meal of the day at lunchtime today and then something light in the evening. I don't eat after half past six at night and it really has helped keeping the weight off. So let's go again with the sushi. Mm. Just what you needed. Watching somebody with a gob full of sushi. Tomorrow, Friday, we're going to be exploring. We're going to be exploring Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So for the next three days, I'm going to be uploading exploring videos. So I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, and I hope you're enjoying these videos from Tokyo. I'm trying to make them a little bit different and try and change things up a little bit and do vlogs and do these eating kind of videos and sharing my advice and tips that I'm learning as I'm in Tokyo. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments if you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If um, you're new to the channel, I'm half eating my lunch. If you're new to the channel, uh, click on that subscribe button and also the bell notification icon so that you get updates of videos and live streams. And that's it, explorers. I'll be back soon. Take care of yourselves and don't forget to explore. And try Japanese food as well. I'm sure you have a Japanese restaurant nearby. See you soon.